founded in December 1924 by the music publisher, music trader, and collector Carlos Schmidl, who lived from 1859 until 1943, the Civico Museo Teatrale records theater and musical life in Trieste from the 1700s to the present through posters, theatrical costumes, and costume jewelry, paintings, prints, sketches and photographs, puppets and marionettes, musical instruments, medals, archives, and musical manuscripts, a conspicuous library, an audiovisual library, and a remarkable musical archive. After being housed in the historic building of the Teatro Verdi from 1924 to 1991, and later on the first floor of Palazzo Morpurgo via Imbriane 5, the museum has now found its definitive location on the Canal Grande in the prestigious Palazzo Gopcevic, a building which was commissioned by Spiridione Gopcevic in 1850 and designed by architect Giovanni Burlam. The double function of the museum, for display and archival purposes, is reflected in how spaces are organized inside the building. The first level, with its splendidly carved floors and richly decorated ceilings, offers a journey dedicated to the history of theatrical buildings and the main protagonists of musical and show business life in Trieste over a period of more than two centuries. A significant section of the permanent collection is dedicated to the display of European and non-European musical instruments, and to the faithful reconstruction of the workshop of local luthier Francesco Zappelli. The display of musical instruments, with special attention given to mechanical ones, continues on the second floor of the Palazzo, which also houses the rooms dedicated to the memory of Giorgio Streller, whose personal archive is also preserved by the museum, as well as the research and consultation facilities. Visitors and researchers therefore find themselves surrounded by a rich network of documents in continual daily expansion. Mm -hmm.